With just 5 seconds of audio and a snippet of text, this model Mars 5 can generate speech even for prosodically hard and diverse scenarios such as sports commentary, enemy and much more. This model is simply very very lightweight to run plus its architecture is quite interesting. In this video we are going to run it in our notebook locally and you can follow the same commands in python script or wherever you like. Before I show you the installation let me tell you a bit more about its architecture which is quite interesting as you can see on your screen. So given a text and a reference audio Course encoding speech features are obtained through an autoregressive transformer model. And then the text reference and course feature are refined in a multinomial DDPM model to produce the remaining encoded code block values. Multinomial DDPM model is something interesting too. Multinomial Denoising Diffusion Probabilistic Model or DDPM is a type of generative model that uses a process called diffusion-based image synthesis to generate images. This model is an extension of diffusion models and flows for categorical data such as language and image segmentation. So its usage in this scenario is quite interesting. And the output of this DDPM is then vocoded to produce the final audio. Because the model is trained on raw audio together with byte pair encoded text, it can be steered with things like punctuation and capitalization. For example, to add a pause, add a comma to that part in the transcript or to emphasize a word, put it in capital letters in the transcript. This enables a fairly natural way of guiding the prosody of generated output. Speaker identity is also specified using an audio reference file between 2 to 12 seconds with lengths around 6 seconds giving optimal results. Also by providing the transcript to the reference, Mars 5 enables one to do a deep clone which improves the quality of the cloning and output at the cost of taking a bit longer to produce the audio. Let's now try to get it installed in our local notebook and see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Computes who are sponsoring the VM and an NVIDIA RTX A6000 GPU for this video. If you are looking for an affordable GPU option to rent, I will drop the link to their website and a coupon code of 50% discount in video's description. This is my notebook where we are going to install all this stuff. So let's install few of the prerequisites. So I'm installing all of this. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And if you are wondering what these libraries are, so for example, this Vocos is a library for real time voice conversion. It allows you to convert a voice sample from one speaker to another speaker's voice. And then we have Encodec, which is for efficient neural codec architecture, and it is used for audio compression and encoding. Librosa is a popular library for audio signal processing. It provides an efficient and easy to use interface for audio analysis, processing and visualization. And then we have this safe tensors for securely storing and transmitting tensor, which is primarily a multidimensional array used in machine learning models. Okay, so let's, these are done. As you can see that it has turned into number from static. Let's import these. That should be fairly quick, the importing. So that is already done. And now load our model. So I'm just going with this Mars 5 TTS text-to-speech. And in this notebook, as I mentioned earlier, we are trying to clone a voice. We will also provide it a sample voice. You can use your own voice. Okay, so it has given us an error. So I think it just means that we need to install some other prerequisites too. Okay, so it says that uh, it would need the Torch audio version. So let me install that one too. So I'm just going to install this Torch audio version. So let me run it. And now after installing the Torch audio, it is downloading the model. The model doesn't seem that big, just 1.5. 2 gig. Let's wait for it to finish. It'll take too long. So 
So after the mo model is downloaded, let's get grab a sample audio file. In the WAV format, you can grab your own audio file. I'm just downloading it from the repo and the audio file has been downloaded. And now let's load our audio file. So in this code snippet, what we are doing it, we are loading this audio file, which is example.wav using Librosa. And then we are converting it to a PyTorch tensor and displaying the audio and its transcript using IPython display. The audio is loaded with a specific sampling rate and converted to mono. And the transcript is defined as string. And then the code is printing a header and displays the audio widget followed by the printing the widget. So let me run it. And you can see that it has now converted the audio. So let me play it. We actually haven't managed to meet demand. And you see, so it has converted the text to speech very, very accurately. And then for the cloning, all you need to do is to run just this script, which is going to use deep clone to cl clone the audio. So let me run it. And the cloning is done. Let me play it. So as you can see that when we play this audio, nothing happens, which is crazy. And then if you do the vocode one, let's listen to that. So it has, sorry, so it has done something, but not much. So you just change the sentence here. Let's play it again to see what it does. And then next time I'm, or maybe I'll just do the deep clone false. and then see what it happens so we just want to go with normal clone so let's run it i'm just going to keep it as is let's wait for it to come back and now it has produced something let's play it a brown rat and you will need produce more mm, now it works so voice cloning works uh, when we set deep clone to false okay that is interesting so, and I'm just going to remove this because this is just for testing and I will reproduce it and then we will test it again. So let me run it. There you go. So it has produced another one. So let's try it out. Like that well rat. It has cloned the voice which we passed it through, but the quality doesn't seem much good. And let's try to. Uh, get the vocode for it. Let's try it out. Yeah, so this is just for troubleshooting if you like. Um, all in all, to be honest, I'm not really impressed by this model. I have seen a lot of other models. Uh, text to speech is good, but then a lot of models can do that. And then it's a bit slow in my opinion. Um, and then to be honest, I'm not that impressed by, it, by the model and I'll be frank with you because I have seen heaps of other models which are lightweight, easier to install, um, more agile, and the output is of very good quality. So I think Mars 5 needs to improve a lot. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that is just my opinion, which could be totally wrong. Play with it. Let me know what do you think about this model. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.